My family came to the U.S. from England in 1982 when I was four. It's now 35 years later, I'm 39, and I consider myself an American. I think I've considered myself an American since I was about 10. I don't feel much of a connection to England, or rather, it's more in my head than my heart. People say they can't imagine me being British. An ex used to joke that he got duped getting a British girl with no accent. I did part of my MBA in London, and I felt just as much the tourist as my classmates. We came over in 1982 on a big TWA jet, and all I remember is holding my dad's thumb really tightly when the plane took off. I remember being eight and thinking, I've been here longer than I was in England. I'm not special anymore. We went back to visit England when I was 10. We went for a month, and it made my fourth grade teacher so mad that she didn't recommend me for the talented and gifted program for the next year, even though I had been part of it for years. That trip made me feel like a citizen of the world and taught me that traveling outside the U.S. is important, something I now try to do with my son as often as possible, partly because England is the only place my parents took us. We never even made it to Scotland. I joke that my parents never took us on vacations more than a few hours from home because in their minds, they were already traveling away from home. My parents have British accents, and that makes them special. But I can't tell my parents' Britishness from their own personalities or their voices. I didn't realize that Americans have different things than we did for Christmas and even regular dinners until I was well past college. Beans on toast seemed normal until I was 22. After brief stints in Maryland and Ohio, my parents settled us in Iowa, which is where I consider that I'm from. I think both because my hometown is fairly small and because my parents moved away from their parents, I always assumed I would move away too. And I did. I have lived in New York for 14 years now.